This Abba and Preach video aged like milk. Abba and Preach's audience is slowly starting to turn on them as a result of some of the takes they've had recently, man. I just did a reaction video to their take on the whole Destiny situation and what he said about that firefighter that died. Uh, the attempted assassination of Donald Trump and what he said about his conservative fans and that if they die, you know, he'll make fun of them and whatever the case may be and that meltdown he had on Piers Morgan. Yeah, they got a lot of heat in the comment section, you know, in regards to that video. And their response to their viewer was, I don't care if we lose a million subs, man. If you don't like it, don't watch the videos. And I'm like, ooh, you might want to be careful, man. But we got another one today, man, because their take on Chris Tyson, Mr. Beast, boy, did not age well at all, man. He aged like more. We're going to look at their video and we're going <laughs> to look at where we currently are with the whole Chris Tyson situation, man. This is why you can't put your hand in the fire for people, man. You can't. And at the center of all this, you have Mr. Beast, Ava Tyson, Dr. Disrespect, Nick Merckx, a, a bunch of names that you may or may not be familiar with. <laughs> the world, Ava Tyson's been a part of the Mr. Beast. What in the MCU? Mr. Beast, Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> 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 This is not reality. Mr. Beast. Nick Merckx. <laughs> Nick Merckx. It's Nick Merckx, Nick Gurr's cousin. <laughs> Alice is Silverstone. <laughs> Dr. Disrespect. I ain't gonna lie, man. Priest got that, that voiceover voice, man. You know what I'm saying? The villain voiceover voice. Maybe, you know, a, a, a trailer for a movie type of voice, man. That, that boy needs to look into voiceovers, man. Evil maniac. <laughs> For a second, I got out of my mind and I was like, what, what the fuck am I watching? All right, but it, it gets better. Let's go from here. He's obviously biggest creator in the world. Ava Tyson's been a part of the Mr. Beast crew from the beginning. With Mr. Beast having to once again, like he's done in the past throughout her transition, defend Ava online. With his most recent... If you're not aware, Mr. Beast has a cast of people that regularly appear. And one of them recently, uh, you know, admit to everyone that they were trans and basically began their transition. So you can kind of see that their appearance physically outwardly is changing. Regularly appear is an understatement. Quite drastically there's been some uproar about this some people feeling comfortable but mr beast has decided to accept her as part of the crew and keep going with it as if nothing but they're really close friends and stuff so that's yeah. contextual not as if nothing man when when uh chris tyson transitioned and did the video mr beast was there sitting on the couch like this like <laughs> oh my god jimmy look they drew you jimmy they drew you so well it looks just like you. nice shirt Hey, nice oh. shirt. Thanks, oh. dude. Nice shirt. Thanks. Nice shirt. Nice shoes. For real. But online. With his most recent example of that stemming from a video posted by Nick Merckx. And he's a very big gaming streamer, though. I would say definitely over this past year, with more and more of his anti-trans talk, he's gotten a lot more attention. And he tweeted to Ava, I had no idea who that guy was. You should be ashamed of yourself, leaving behind your wife and child to play pretend. One day you'll wake up and realize what you've done. Or, or oh was man, shut up. That is none of your business. Sorry. Tweet from Ava earlier saying me every time I post on Twitter. All mentions are he, they, she, she, hey, they. And so next tweet, it garnered a lot of reactions. And you know, one of the biggest responses there was from Mr. Beast himself saying Ava is literally always with her kid and doesn't even go on shoots to spend more time with them. Tuckman is always smiling. Not sure why this rumor is a thing. And as you can imagine when the biggest. Yeah, then you guys are just chatting shit. Their transitioning had no impact on their parenting. <laughs> you're doing that. Abba, what the hell? Are you mentally challenged, bro? Are you going to say that the transition had no effect on... Exactly. That's okay. you're doing the most. I know I brought that up. Okay, yeah. let's, let's keep going. No, bro. No effect on the parenting? No effect on the parenting, bro? <laughs> you went from having one mom and a dad to a mom and a brolic mom? He's like, wait, what the fuck is happening here, man? Who's the mom now? Who's the mom, Abba, if it had an effect on the parenting, man? Who's the mom? Who's going to press... <laughs> creator on the platform chimes in on something it becomes an even bigger conversation. Whether it be people on the side of how dare Mr. Beast say that, or upset with the fact that he's friends with, supports, and features a trans woman in his content. But this is there were also a ton of others loving what Mr. Beast said here. All right, we got we got we got one of the greatest thinkers of our generation, Cucko. Uh, if you want to pretend to be a woman, do it off camera. Do not be selfish. Do not damage Jimmy's philanthropic reputation. Do not confuse a generation of children by celebrating puberty blockers and genital mutil. And I thought I'm the one who took in the second language, man. The way I about uh, <laughs> the <laughs> even I could say that one I about reputation, bro. Come on, man. Red, get, get it out. I about holy shit. These guys are comatose brain dead. Jesus. So basically, it's like. If you want to be trans, just don't be trans on camera. Just hide. Oh, on the topic of trans people be on camera, I don't give a shit either. 
Like, what, what a non-issue. Yeah, but what if kids see it? So what? Trans people are real. You need to get over it. They've always been real. They've always been around. That's a fact. You may not like it, and that's fine, but they should be allowed to exist in these spaces, and kids should be allowed to see them. Now, it's a completely different thing if you're talking about drag queens and all this other shit. You can have me there, right? Because there's a sexual connotation to a lot of that culture, and that's inappropriate around children. But just trans people existing, I don't give a f Kids should be allowed to see them. You see, this, this is the problem right here. This is why this doesn't sit right with people, right? This is the problem in our current society today. You have an entire generation of grown-ass men who don't have any children, right? This video right here is why, Abba. Hi, friends. Today, we're going to talk about something super important, what it means to be transgender. It's a big word, but I promise that it's easy to understand. Ready to learn? The first thing I want you to do is close your eyes. Now think, do you feel like a boy, a girl, or a little bit of both? Do you have your answer? Great. Now I want you to imagine that everyone keeps telling you that you're something else, even though in your heart, you know who you are. Wouldn't that make you sad inside? People who feel like this are transgender. And if you're not transgender, it's super easy to be friends with someone who is. Let's take our imaginary friend Theo, for example. One day you notice that Theo starts wearing girl clothes instead of boy clothes. And then they tell you that they want to be called Luna instead of Theo. This is so exciting for our friend Luna because they finally get to be their true self. And if you accidentally call Luna by their old name, make sure to say a big sorry and that you'll do better next time. As you can see, transgender people are just like you and me. Bitch, if it was just like you and me, we wouldn't be having this fucking whole tutorial over here on how to deal with them. But whatever, you see Abba, this is the reason why people don't want the whole trans thing in front of the children. Because this is this is what it leads to, right? This is what it leads to. Why is this girl? <laughs> Why is Miss Rachel's voice so deep, bro? <laughs> that video went viral, by the way. That video went viral, right? And uh, this, I don't know what his name is, right? I did a video on him before, and uh, where somebody approached him and G checked him publicly, and he recorded him thinking he was gonna do something. They got double down. I'm gonna put the video in the description box. You know what I'm saying? But this is what it leads to, and this is the problem. This is why a lot of parents don't want this propagated to the children. You know what I'm saying? Or around the kids. And yeah, should fucking trans people be able to exist like all the rest of us? Yes, man. But when it gets to this, bro, that's a problem, bro, because this is indoctrination, my man. People used to say, say the same shit about gay people. What are you like, letting people see these kids? Seeing these trans people is not going to turn these people trans, and seeing these gay kids is not going to turn these people gay. I don't care how many gay people I would have seen on camera, there's not a day in hell that I would have become gay in the future. That's because you have a, self, a high self-esteem, my brother. Don't ever, under any circumstances, project who you are into the world. There's a lot of extremely insecure children out there who have this need to fit in, and they, they, they go become part of that crew, bro, as a result of that. My cousin told me that she, when she was in high school, man, I live out here in New York City, you know what I'm saying? She told me that there was these girls, it was always with females, right, who were deeply insecure, and they would go lesbian and join the part of the little LGBTQ uh, clique just to belong. And she said that like, you know, like a year or two later, she'll shake it off because it was never who she was. And she was just uncomfortable the whole time, but she just wanted friends. And then the girls would just literally pretend like it never happened. Like, no, that never happened. Like they try to fucking delete that shit from their mind. And she told me that shit happened that line. I was like, no freaking way. She was like, yeah, it's fucking crazy. But yeah, no, don't think that because you're not capable of doing something like that, that the whole world is in as well. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of kids over there, man, that are extremely insecure, man, and they just want to fit in. They want to belong. That shit don't fit in my mind. I, I don't know how, I, but it happens. You feel me? It happens. People have this habit of projecting who they are into the world. It was either in you or it's not. Some of you don't want to accept that. You believe that everyone's being turned gay or whatever it is. It's ridiculous. Oh my God. So this guy's cool and he's gay. So like, maybe I'll start sucking. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did you catch the gay again? Ha, sucking dick. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Like, that doesn't work like that. There's a level of protect the kids that I understand. This is just fear mongering. Yeah. This is, this is just you guys are bored. getting the pitchforks ready for dumb shit. You guys are bored. This, and I watch Mr. B's content from time to time. There are no political messages. There is a very strong effort to be very neutral on most things. It don't matter, bro. He's fighting for his life for his friend, bro. He's going online publicly to win the chat to hundreds of millions of people. You know what I'm saying? In defense of the dude being a mommy to the little boy, bro. You know how confusing that is to... If he would have had a daughter, it would have been a little different because they just perceived the world through a different lens, right? But a boy, a boy. It's like, daddy, what the f 
<laughs> but people think like this is somehow like a big thing. You know, no, mm -hmm. you're just showing kids what real life is likely going to look like and the kind of people they're going to meet. Every now and then, you're going to see a trans person. That's okay. Yeah, but there's an, this is, this is an age where you can show them this, right? Around eight, nine years old is when their brain is really capable of grasping this. Before then, it's like, ah? You know, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, ah? <laughs> right, eight, nine years old, you know, that's when you can begin to start to introduce these ideas to the kids. You know what I'm saying? But uh, they're trying to get them a kindergarten. Yeah, they're trying to get them a kindergarten for a reason. You shouldn't be shocked when you see them because if you live in North America, they're part of our society. But the truth is, and this is the reality, these people don't think trans people should exist. I think sometimes people use children to mask the fact that they just have a problem with something. Yeah. That's what it comes to. They've been doing that. Yeah. Throughout the history, they've been, throughout history, they've been doing that. They've been hiding. I don't think so, man. I don't think anybody has a problem with somebody walking around as a trans person. Like, yeah, I don't understand that person, whatever, you know? People have a problem, bro, because again, it's a problem to the children, bro. Remember, they're targeting little kids for a reason, man. They have these drag queens. Again, this doesn't happen all the time, but it's happening enough to the point where we all know about it. Coming to this kindergarten classes, this first graders to what to dance what? what are you doing what are you talking about that shit is fucking crazy to me you know what i'm saying thing behind kids yeah oh, oh the well, think about the children they did that with weed think about the children they did that with alcohol they think about the children black, black people, people. It's like it's just always yeah. comes down bitch what <laughs> Ella, what the fuck you mean think about the children that did it with weed we didn't go for you bro think about the fucking kids is a drug alcohol is a fucking drug bro you gotta think about the children this is what happens when grown-ass men don't reproduce bro this is what happens when grown-ass men don't have kids of course you got to think about the children bro you can't promote these things on little kids bro they're no good for you listen if you like smoking weed that's your business you're in the door if you like drinking alcohol that's your business you're in the door but if you're out there promoting it to little kids fuck you straight up bro like are you fucking crazy he said think about the of course bro. if listen if adults don't think about the kids who's gonna think about them you want to know who the trans people are thinking about it man yeah they're thinking about them every fucking day <laughs> to the children it's just crazy now don't mean get me wrong there are some times where they do go too far with the kids when it comes to certain things that they're presenting in the schools that's something you fight on but you don't fight on a group of people irrespective of what they say or what they believe or what they are even espousing in public and say they shouldn't have a right to be able to even be there i don't abide by that kind of discrimination the idea that people should not be on camera because they're trans like that's just stupid it's not about them being on camera it's what they're doing on camera right for example look at the video that i just showed you about that guy do you feel like that guy should be on camera bro Talking to little kids like that, at the end of the day, you have the film to do whatever you want on the internet. You know what I'm saying? But once you dress up like Miss Rachel, knowing and understanding that little kids, little kids, little three-year-old kids, four-year-old kids don't know the difference. They see the swag and they think it's a bro, there was a free there was, there was a Latina Miss Rachel, bro, getting hundreds of thousands of views as a result of her just dressing like Miss Rachel. And she had the yo, she had the craziest Latina accent in the world. And it flew over a lot of parents' heads they didn't realize as they were walking around. So one day they stopped like, wait, who's this? That's not Miss Rachel. Maria? <laughs> Miss Maria, who's this, man? But let's see how their fans feel about this, right? Let's look at some of their comments. This is the pin comment that they put, right? This is the comment they pinned it. Ah, but this is not it and you need to read the room and know who your target audience this video gonna affect your channel 1200 likes right this is what they said to them this is what they said who cares if it affects the channel you're asking me to pander to the audience to avoid losing subs we're gonna say what we think and if you want to stick around cool you don't want to cool but you are dead wrong if you think we make content to appease our audience opinions you don't have to make content to appease your audience opinions bro but it's like i, I lately you've been saying a lot of shit that just don't need to be said the way you defended destiny that wasn't necessary you could have said hey listen guys man that's our boy. We don't agree with what he did. You know, I understand it's a little distasteful. I understand why the intent is pissed off. But that's that guy, man. I mean, the freaking guy's in the... I mean, come on, man. He goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? He's letting all the dudes smash his chick. What can you expect from a guy like that, man? But he's cool in our book. No problem. But no, you want to say, we don't care if we lose a million subscribers, man. We don't care if we lose a million subscribers behind this. That's crazy to me. Don't forget who pay your bills, bro. Don't forget who pays your bills, man. When you start attacking your audience for no reason... Like, you don't have to say all this shit. <laughs> you don't have to say, like, hey, guys, we're not going to agree on everything. This is one of those things, you know? We love you and we appreciate you. If you feel like, you know, you're not on board with it and you don't want to f*** with us, all right, cool, I understand, right? But don't, like, say it. If you don't want to kick rocks, eh, that's a problem, right? Look at this one. I usually hard agree with you guys, but saying that transitioning while raising a child doesn't affect parenting is disingenuous. And it is. Look, 3,100 likes, right? Then you have this one, right? Hope after defending this dude, now you can comment about how he, not she, was sharing nudes and DMs with a minor. Try calling us crazy now for seeing this coming wow this aged really well i'm glad you stuck up for them and ignore all the red flags so typical yeah this freaking chris tyson guy man he got caught with little kids he's a the guy is a legit pedophile 
Prepubescent children, bro, is what he was talking to on, on the internet. That shit is way crazier than the doctor disrespect thing, right? He got caught talking on a 17-year-old girl. This dude, Chris Tyson, was talking to little boys, man, and he and he co-signed an artist that would draw pictures of little kids. Little kids, prepubescent kids, right? We're talking about eight, nine, ten years old, having inappropriate things being done to them. And like this guy co-signs him, you know? So the Chris Tyson is legit a certified lover boy. You know, certified pedophile. They not like us. You know, we're gonna have to play that song every time I'm gonna come around. You know, so I don't know, man. I think this was an L take from really, really mainly Abba, man. Really mainly Abba, cause preach low key. He's like, man, this is my boy. I'm gonna have to rock out with him. You know what I'm saying? Like we, <laughs> this is our YouTube channel. You know, so I get that these are mainly Abba's beliefs and preach is kind of like, eh. I mean, you know, we a team, so I can't turn my back on my boy. But um, yeah, man. Uh. Let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes, man, because this is the second video. We're pretty much giving the middle fingers to the reviewers. Let's see if it ends up affecting them in the long run. Talk Less Do More is an embodiment of the spirit that the Broski carries, because around here, we don't talk about it, we'll be about it. So if you want to help support and grow the Broski army, the Broski channel, the Broski movement, go out there and get yourself a little water bottle, man, if you're out there hitting them gyms, man. Get yourself a little coffee mug to remind yourself, man, stop talking so much, man, and start doing, you know what I'm saying? So if you have some goals you're trying to attack, man, and you want to attach yourself to a meaning that's going to power you go cop that right now man the link is in the description box man y'all see it below man make sure you subscribe like share and i see you next time peace